adventure on the North Wales coast. I left around about two o'clock-ish. Um, at Worcester, drove up, and uh, a considerable amount of roadworks made it very difficult to get here in time for sunrise. Um, when we did get here, it was a bit of a mad dash after parking the car up to get down to the beach and up to the lighthouse. Um, unfortunately, uh, sunrise had already started to break and uh, all of the guys' gold and pink and red tones I was hoping for in the sky were a little bit missed, to be honest with you. It didn't quite happen. The reason for my return visit, I suppose, is because this is where my photography started around about four years ago. Um, I picked up a DSLR and this is one of the very first locations I came to to photograph and uh, I got some really nice images at the time and uh, it really set my passion and life for landscape photography and uh, particularly getting up at city o'clock in the morning and uh, travelling outwards to find these uh, far-flung places which uh, I would never have normally have seen or even thought of or heard of so you know it's, uh, it's done me it's done me wild this photography lark uh, as you can tell from behind me now the uh, the day is well the morning is well and truly away and uh, there's, there's very little on the way of sunlight anymore um, it's all above a, a quite a, a large bank of cloud above us a little bit disappointed with this morning so far i uh, wasn't able to replicate what i photographed four years ago and uh, i've left me feeling a little bit um, a little bit down in the dumps about it to be honest with you Hoping that all is not lost. Um, high tide is around about 8.30, um, which is around about an half an hour's time. I'm hoping that uh, the, the tide as it comes in will fill around the bottom of the lighthouse, as you can see behind me. Um, I'm hoping that will make for some interesting compositions and images. So I'm gonna have a wander around, try and get set up in a, in a suitable position, and then wait for the tide to fully come in and hopefully uh, give me a bit of reflections um, and uh, some interest in the foreground. So catch up with you in a second. So guys, I finally found a, a composition I'm relatively happy with this morning. Um, I've been waiting for the tide to fully submerge the base of the lighthouse, which is now done. Um, I'll show you my current setup and how I've got this uh, at quite a low position on the beach. Um, and I've got some um, sand dunes which are lifting up, just very tiny small ones, just lifting up, giving a pattern into the, uh, into the lighthouse in the foreground. Um, and I think that looks really quite nice. So I'll show you those now. And uh, put a couple of images up on the screen and let me know what you think. So guys, found yet another composition now. The sun's come out and the tide's really pushed in. Uh, some nice, quite strong foreground interest with some boulders leading through into the foreground with the lighthouse in the background uh, reflecting the sunlight off the white painting on the building. It looks absolutely stunning. Uh, I'll put this image up for you. Please like and comment and let me know what you think. managed to get some uh, half decent images I think in the end. Um, obviously you guys would have seen those well before I would have done but I'm quite hopeful that some of the images taken will be very nice. Obviously we've uh, returned to a location you shot maybe four years ago. Uh, things do change. You know, me as a photographer I've changed my way I look at process images and the way I look at images and the way I look at compositions also change. Now although I couldn't get the image I wanted to get this morning 
um, at sunrise. Um, I think by sticking with it and then just waiting for the conditions to change, in this case the tide, and um, thankfully the sun breaking through the clouds, has actually resulted in some rather splendid images. So, I suppose what I'm really trying to say is, is I think this probably calls it a, an end to this little vlog of mine. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video content I produced. Um, I would be absolutely made up if you'd like to like and subscribe to my channel and uh, even more so if you leave me a comment. Uh, if you have any questions about how I go about doing my photography, the settings I use and the camera and equipment, please do ask those questions. I'd be more than happy to answer them. So until the next time guys, thanks so much for joining me on this one and I'll see you soon. Take care all.